know, today was I was happy for the players because they, you know, they played the way that we look like a Boston University basketball team today. And they played hard. They played, they played for each other. They, they were accountable. Um, we were selfless. You know, those are, the, those are the characteristics of our program. And, you know, we've kind of been so inconsistent. And obviously in the last couple of weeks, we kind of lost our way. Um, but today they stepped up and, and played the way that we're capable of playing. And, you know, it's not even about the win. You, you know, we're happy that we won, but it's more about how they, how they played, how they focused. Um, you know, nobody cared who, who, who scored. Um, and that's, that's, that's our team. You know, when we play like that, we're good. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed like, yeah, kind of like you said, with the selflessness, um, the ball movement throughout this game pretty much was on a level we haven't really seen this year. Um, uh, wh what do you say to that and what kind of turned that around specifically for this game? You know, we were, you know, I thought we, we, we made it clear, you know, what our expectations were. Um, you know, we, you know, and, and I think because we've, we've struggled um, to find our way, you know, there, you know, we were able to kind of get their attention yesterday. Um, you know, we got good guys, man. I've been saying it all along. We got good guys. Sometimes they're not focused on the right things. That's the, that's the thing that's been hurting us. You know, we have to be focused on the right things. And when they're focused on the right things, we're pretty good. And so, you know, we came into the game, you know, our heads were clear, our hearts were clear, uh, and we played for each other. And that was, that was, uh, that was obvious. Um, Jonas tied his career high today, obviously shot the ball really well. Um, it's been a little bit of a down year largely for him shooting the ball. What does a game like this just, I don't know, do for him mentally? Yeah, they did a good job of finding him. Um, that was one thing, you know, we, we were able to find him. Um, you know, they, they, you know, we were, you know, like Javante, he, he got seven shots and that's big, you know, like to, to win a game when he gets seven shots, is huge. He got four assists and seven shots and played hard throughout the game. That, that's, that's what we were struggling with. You know, we, we were, we were kind of after each game, everybody was thinking about what they needed to do better and not what the team needed to do better. And it's hard to win that way. Um, but, you know, Jonas is, um, you know, Jonas is someone that obviously uh, is a really good shooter. You know, it's such a wacky year. I don't really, it's just been hard. I, I don't really go by the stats, even when we're playing an opposition. Like Fall, two weeks ago, was wasn't shooting the ball well at all. And then the next two weeks, he's killing it. And and so I, it's just a matter of time before guys start making shots. Like Walt, Walter in the last month, he's gotten better. You know, gradually better. Like guys that can shoot are going to make shots. Mm -hmm. uh, coach. Uh... Going into this game, uh, of course, the last series against Army uh, ended in two losses for you guys. What do you think that you and the guys did different this time around? We played a lot harder. You know, we played a lot harder. We played a lot harder together. Um, you know, th that was a big key, you know, for us to, to pull out a win, you know. And then the ball goes in. When you're playing hard like this, the ball goes in. You know, the ball doesn't go in when you're not playing hard. You're not sharing the ball. You're not cutting and moving. And today we played at a really good pace. You know, uh, we got into a flow and then we were able to kind of, kind of, you know, create some good movement for ourselves. And I think that really helped us. And we, we have to carry it over. You know, we just got to play like, no matter if the ball goes, like sometimes when the ball's not going in, we, we tend to start to press uh, and get frustrated. Um, and so we just got to play our game. And if it, if it goes in, it goes in. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we played with a much better pace today. And I thought that helped. We played hard in a much better pace and we played better together. Uh, Coach, my last question for you. You mentioned the frustration. You talked about that a little bit in the last post game too. Um, over this past couple of days, how have you and the coaching <laughs> staff addressed, I don't know what, yeah, like what that frustration felt like and, and dealt with it? It wasn't the coaching staff. It was me. I addressed it. <laughs> I didn't need anybody to tell me what the problems were, what the issues are. I, I knew it. And I'm, and I'm a part of it. I was, and I told the players that I was a huge part of why we were so inconsistent. Um, and I needed to be a better leader. 
Um, and, you know, I had to hold myself more accountable. Uh, I got emotional. Uh, I got emotional this morning before we left. We actually left later than we wanted to leave because I was, you know, driving some points home of things that I thought we we haven't haven't been able to do, and it's because we've been really stopping ourselves. This, I mean, we you know, listen, there are good teams in our league. No, no disrespect to the teams in our league, but we haven't played up the capability that we're that we're capable of, and we got to look ourselves in the mirror. And it starts with me. So first, first it starts with me, and I and I have to I have to be the first one to admit when when I haven't done a good job. And so, you know, the older guys followed suit and they were accountable. Sometimes you don't know where their heads are because they don't, they don't really communicate that. But when the game started, you could tell they were locked in and they were ready. And, you know, let's see if we can just carry this over. And look, you know, we're a tough out if we play like this. You know, we're a tough out, you know. Um, I like our chances if we play like this. But we got we to gotta just keep our, keep our heads, heads on straight in terms of what we're trying to accomplish and just go try to play our game. Uh, one last question for me, coach. Um, outside of, or there's a saying that goes, uh, it doesn't matter how you start, it matters how you finish. And of course, outside of the semantics of this series and what it means to you in the season as far as seeding in the, in the uh, Patriot League championship, uh, what does uh, a win now, um, this late in the season, go into uh, emotionally how this team go can play yeah, I, you uh, know, further on? I think it helps us. Obviously, it helps us. Um... You know, it helps us in terms of just trying to build some, build some confidence and build some flow. You know, we just gotta, we you, you gotta you gotta be able to play with um, with some rhythm. You know, and tonight we played with rhythm and we hadn't played like that in a long time. So it it definitely helps us when we're able to kind of play in a rhythm. You know, good things happen. The last time we played in rhythm was the I think it was the fifth game against. Holy Cross, you know, we came out, we played with a good rhythm, you know, and, and we played well. And then, you know, um, from that point on, we went to Colgate, didn't play well, and then came back. And I thought we had a hangover from the Colgate. The two Colgate games weren't feeling good about ourselves. And Holy Cross came in and, and kicked our butts. And, and hopefully, you know, like I said, hopefully it made us all look in the mirror at, you know, at ourselves and try to improve this thing. Cool. That's all I got. Thank you. Uh, the other thing I would say Thank is I go. thought the bench, I thought the guys on the bench, I thought Andrew Petcash for a guy that's been out this long to come in and play the way that he did was, was tremendous. I thought Miles Brewster in his seven minutes and 30 seconds was terrific. I thought Jack Hemphill gave us great minutes. I, I thought, obviously I thought, um, I thought, I thought Fletcher came in and, and, and I think defensively he can be better, but I thought he gave us, those guys off the bench came in and, and played their role. And that's another thing that we've been struggling with is guys coming in and understanding what they need to do. And I think our whole, like even guys coming in the game, it was like their focus was like, all right, how can I play more minutes? I just want to play more. And we've got to try to figure out right now is like, you know, how can we, how can we get guys to come in and just, just play their role and do what they do well? Yeah, that was a good point. It felt like everyone, no one was forcing anything off the bench. No, no, no. Okay. No. They let the game come to them and we need that.